This is a video demonstrating the takedown of a laparoscopic Nissen fund replication. The patient had a laparoscopic Nissen fund replication done about five months ago. The patient had lost close to 60 pounds due to dysphagia. The patient was unable to swallow and um, had undergone um, endoscopy, which, uh, was, uh, which revealed an extremely tight wrap which was confirmed by the upper GI studies. In addition, there was suggestion of slip. The um, additions to the left lobe of the liver were uh, carefully taken down with um, sharp dissection. Minimal use of electrocautery was uh, done. The anterior portion of the wrap appeared to be adherent to the left level of the liver. The right cruise of the diaphragm was identified. Once the left lobe was completely elevated, a liver retractor was placed. We then started dissecting the uh, wrap off the right crew of the diaphragm. Great momentum which was stuck to the right side of the wrap was dissected and removed. The wrap was then dissected away from the left cruise of the diaphragm using electrocautery and sharp dissection. Here the decusation of the cruise is identified and immediately it is apparent that the um, crural closure is extremely tight in the posterior aspect of the intra-abdominal esophagus. This is taken down with sharp dissection. The fundic attachments to the uh, posterior aspect of the uh, crew are taken down with um, sharp dissection. The fundic wrap, which wraps around to itself in the anterior aspect of the esophagus, is taken down with sharp dissection. The vagus nerve is identified in this clip and preserved. The fundic attachments to the left side of the esophagus are taken down using sharp section. There appears to be a slip of the wrap. The anterior aspect of the esophagus is then cleared. The wrap appears to be twisted, which could add to the problem by kinking the esophagus.
the right side of the gastroesophageal junction is freed from the wrap. Posterior additions of the wrap to the uh, decusation of the crura are taken down with sharp dissection, taking care not to injure the stomach. The left crura is now visualized from the uh, right side. The short gastric vessels appear not to have been taken down in the initial operation. These are now ligated with the harmonic scalpel and the greater curvature is freed on the left side all the way up, exposing the left crura of the diaphragm. The posterior short gastric vessels are taken. Not taking this could have added to the torque on the uh, GE junction, causing the uh, dysphagia. The left crura is now visualized and the fundus is mobilized off the left crura. The mental attachments to the uh, remaining fundus is taken in order to facilitate unwrapping the wrap. The devitalized portion of the uh, fundus is then stapled off using a GIA stapler. Normal anatomy has been restored with uh, adequate intra-abdominal esophageal length. There still appears to be a cicatrix of scar tissue around the posterior aspect of the esophagus. This is taken down carefully using sharp dissection. This is done in order to facilitate passage of a 58-inch French bougie without difficulty into the, in through the esophagus and into the gastroesophageal junction. Similarly, some anterior scar tissue is released around the esophagus and entry into the mediastinum is confirmed.
the last crural stitch, hugging the esophagus, is sharply taken down. A 58 French bougie is placed. which passes in and fills up the gastroesophageal junction showing the current status of crural patency is adequate. We then reconstructed the wrap due to the uh, dysphagia that the patient had in a toupee fashion. The patient recovered well, swallow study was negative and the patient's dysphagia is resolved with resolution of reflux and the patient has gained adequate weight.